Welcome to Nintendo Ninja News. I'm your host, Chris Dionysus, and we are here to talk about um, a bit of a box set box off or something. We're going to be comparing um, the two of these in terms of the box art. Now, some people complained that I did not show the box art very well for the uh, Super Nintendo um, review, which was disappointing because I thought I did. Um, yeah, it's interesting how people get really um, sort of uh, sensitive over things like that. Because I like the boxes, but they're not, but they're not the most important thing when it comes to the product. You know, you can't play with a cardboard box unless you're a cat. So you have the uh, the NES Nintendo uh, Classic Mini, which is this guy, and I, I I don't mind the front of it. It looks a bit dodgy in terms of the colour blue and things like that. Um, just looks like it wasn't photoshopped very well. There's a little bit of a strange look to it. Um, looking on the sides, uh, it's, woo! As you can tell, it tells you a bit about the console. And I like the light, I like the side of the, the um, retro blast from the past. Of course, the other one has very much the same. So, nothing exciting about that. <coughs> now, the other side of it is pretty interesting. Um, shows you off all the games. I like how they show off the box art and the, the screen next to them. I think the colour does look alright on the back. There is a little link there, which is pretty nice. Shows off all the games and things like that. So, yeah, I think this box is okay. It's a nice little size, it's cutesy, I think it's not a bad design. So you got the Super Nintendo one, um, which is pretty cool. I like the front cover of this a little better. <clears throat> it's got a nice background, the black and red goes well. It has Mario and Yoshi over here, which looks great. It's got that little seal of quality on it too as well as the NES version. Um, it is rated M, this package, unless the the, um, the NES one was PG. And uh, it looks nice from there. From the other side, it does tell you everything about um, the game. It shows off a bit of Mario Kart, and Star Fox, and F-Zero, all the sort of the racy type fast games, which is interesting that you see there. So, and it says, um, so Super Retro Blast from the past from the turn of the all fan favourite Super Nintendo Entertainment System, mini size, da 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 da, from the 90s, fully loaded and ready to play using original style Super Nintendo Classic controllers. So that's very cool. On the other side, you've got that, which is pretty stock standard, which is very nice. And you have the back. Now, the back is interesting because it looks a bit mashed up than the other one. And it's not as neat or as tidy. They're just trying to cram as many in there. I think they do get them all. Do they? Do they do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Ah, uh, yes. So they do squeeze all 20 in there. Of course, the more famous games are shown up in the big ones. Donkey Kong Country actually does sit up there. Super Metroid, F-Zero. But all the Super Nintendo box art look great on the console itself, which is excellent. And all the games are lined up there too. So, this box isn't so bad, I think. Uh, I think, personally, out of these two, I think uh, this box art looks better. I think it looks pretty, pretty good, and um, just looks a little better, but I do like how organised the, the blue is on the back and that. I don't know, they could have changed something with this, but eh, we'll see. I guess it was part of the original console look or something, you never know, but um, it would be interesting to see if they make an N64 um, Mini Classic, and we'll see what sort of box that looks like, because that... That, to me, is more iconic because I grew up in that sort of generation when it came to Nintendo. 
So that is the little comparing thing. And um, that's it for me. And I shall see you later on.